This is Melanie Fine of Chem in 10. Today we're going to talk about types of chemical reactions. There are basically six different types of chemical reactions. Combustion, synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, double replacement, and acid base, which is actually a particular type of a double replacement reaction. Let's look at these one at a time. A combustion reaction is when a compound is combined with oxygen. When hydrocarbons, which are compounds made of carbon and hydrogen, undergo combustion, they produce carbon dioxide and water as their products. So for example, here we have ethanol. Ethanol reacts with oxygen to produce four molecules of carbon dioxide and four water molecules. A synthesis reaction is when two or more compounds combine into one larger compound. You'll be able to note a synthesis reaction because you'll have two reactants and only one product. So here we have potassium solid, potassium metal reacting with chlorine gas to produce potassium chloride. Potassium and chloride and chlorine gas combine together, they synthesize potassium chloride. Before we continue, let's look at what these subscripts mean, or these letters S and G. They're actually more than S and G. S represents a solid, L represents a liquid, G a gas, AQ means aqueous, which means it's dissolved in water. A decomposition reaction is somewhat the opposite of a synthesis reaction. In decomposition, we start with one reactant and break it down into its components. In this example, we have hydrogen peroxide decomposing into water and oxygen gas. This is why when you buy hydrogen peroxide in the store, it's usually in a dark colored container to prevent sunlight from prematurely decomposing it. A single replacement reaction is one in which an element replaces another element already in a compound. So for example, here we have iron metal reacting with hydrochloric acid. Notice that the iron replaces the hydrogen in hydrochloric acid forming iron 2 chloride and the hydrogen goes off by itself. It's sort of like iron came to the dance party stag and hydrogen chloride were a couple and iron hooks up with chlorine and hydrogen is left out of the loop. A double replacement reaction is one in which the cations and anions in two compounds switch places with each other. For example, here we have silver nitrate reacting with sodium chloride to form silver chloride and sodium nitrate. Let's, let's look at what happened here. We had the nitrate and chlorine switching partners. So the nitrate now combines with the sodium to form sodium nitrate, and the chlorine now combines with the silver to form silver chloride. So in a sense, they come to the dance with two different partners, and they switch partners at the dance and leave with their new partners. An acid-base reaction is a special type of double replacement reaction in which the hydrogen ion of the acid combines with the hydroxide ion of the base, usually producing a salt and water. So here we have hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. They switch partners. The chlorine and hydroxide switch, so hydrogen combines with hydroxide forming water, and sodium combines with chloride to form sodium chloride. Here's a flowchart to help you to determine the type of reaction. We start here where it says start here. We ask, is oxygen a reactant? If oxygen is a reactant, then it's a combustion reaction. If it's not a reactant, then we go to the next step. Do two reactants combine into one product? If two reactants do combine into one product, we have a synthesis reaction. If they don't, then we ask, does one reactant break down into more than one product? If this is the case, it's a decomposition reaction. If it's not the case, is one reactant made up of one type of atom? If, it's made, if one reactant is made up of just one type of atom, then it's a single replacement reaction. If it's not true, we ask, is water a product? If water is a product, then it is an acid-base reaction, which is also a double replacement reaction. And if water is not a product, then it's a double replacement reaction. Sample problem number one. The reaction two iron plus three chlorine gas yields two iron three chloride is an example of what type of reaction? Let's go through our flowchart. Is one of the reactants oxygen? No. The next one, do two reactants combine into one product? Yes. So this is a synthesis reaction. Sample problem number two, the reaction magnesium solid plus hydrochloric acid yields magnesium chloride plus hydrogen gas is an example of which type of reaction? Going through our flowchart, 
neither one of the reactants is oxygen. Do two reactants combine into one product? No, we have two products. Does one reactant break down into more than one product? No, we have two reactants. Four, is one of the reactants made up of only one type of atom? Yes, it's magnesium. So it's a single replacement reaction. Notice that the magnesium replaces the hydrogen in hydrochloric acid, making magnesium chloride, and the hydrogen goes off by itself as hydrogen gas. I hope you enjoyed this video. To get more stoichiometry help and a free gift, visit purplestoic.com. This is Melanie Fine of Chem and 10.